dwnproductions.net masks bus props custom work if you need something hit me up at dwnproductions.net fastcustomshirts.com all kinds of shirts for your perusal and purchase and hit me up if you need custom work fastcustomshirts.com so this movie the destroyer starring anthony perkins is a movie it starts out with this big roided up fucking jail uh watching like a wheel of fortune knock off and uh he's really he's really into this show it turns out you know he killed the vanna white of that show and uh raped and murdered like 23 or 24 other people so he's getting sent to the electric chair and they show the classic shot where they're like walking behind him but this guy's so roided up his hands barely go behind his back with the handcuffs this dude is definitely one of those guys who can't scratch his own fucking back <laughs> is this, uh, Okay. I don't know. Does he got look a, like a fucking big wop? Got a beard and shit, curly kind of hair. Maybe. Yeah, I think he's a former football player. Ah, okay. Does he get kicked out for steroids? Probably. I don't remember much about it, but I know he did the destroy. Yeah, maybe this is it. I don't know. So, yeah, uh, he's sent to the electric chair and Oh, he's just not dying. So they give him all the juice in the place. They give him so much it blows all the power for the whole prison. And chaos ensues. You don't really see any of it. But, uh, you know, they go to check and see if he's dead with all the lights out and shit and chaos happening and more chaos. And, oh, no, he's not dead. He's just choking and picking everybody up with one hand. And the executioner who flips the switch, there they like have that classic executioner black mask on <laughs> while they're doing it and shit. So he goes up to the executioner, picks him up by the neck, lifts him off the ground, takes the mask off, and oh, it's a lady. And then she wakes up out of a dream and now she works on movies or some stupid shit now it's like 13 14 months later the prison's decommissioned after the riot so now they're making a women in prison movie there with anthony perkins directing and uh you know they go there and oh my god he's been living in the prison so he kills people and then they get him at the end <laughs> typical slasher movie slasher's a roided up guy in the settings of prison yeah checks all the boxes for everything you needed to be distributed back in the day uh, there's a couple scenes where they're filming like the women in prison stuff that's kind of funny because it's like making fun of the shit and all that but if you're not a slasher fan or like a big fan of women in prison movies and don't bother the cover art looks cool because it's like this big roided up fuck with a jackhammer with a fucking laser scope on it and a skull face yeah i think that is the lyle alzado movie then that's him yeah but uh that kill is in the movie there isn't a laser scope on the jackhammer and you don't really see a whole lot you just see him like kind of pushing it up to the eye and the guy going ooh, ooh, and then it coming through the wall and nowhere near as cool as the cover would have you believe but got me to watch it 